Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is Montre, uh, your metaphysical advisor. I'm going to be doing a reaction video uh, to Bill Mayer, and he's talking about victimhood Olympics. Haven't seen it, just gonna check it out. All right, so let's get to it. Let me hide this first. This looks ugly. I hate those little things there. When I read this, there's a Boston law firm now and a nonprofit who have banded together to file a lawsuit on behalf of the people, the 50 Venezuelans in Martha's Vineyard. They were here two days and they got a lawsuit. It says they've suffered economic, emotional, and constitutional harms. Two days in the country. It was off peak season. <laughs> Right. Sometimes I had to play doubles when the courts were crowded. No, I mean, no, it's not been easy. I'm kind of questioning, like, with this whole, these Venezuelans coming in, all of a sudden there's all these lawsuits. Where, aren't these people poor? Where do they get money to get lawyers? This is what makes me feel like this whole um, thing is a sham. Uh, one, it's a way for lawyers to make money. Welcome to America. But it's also someone is funding this and it ain't them because these folks ain't got the money to be paying lawyers i know i don't but again so i just thought maybe since your book is about victims you would want to talk about what you think how this relates yeah, I, mean, to, yeah, I mean it pays to be a victim in this country but it pays to turn other people into victims too i want to learn what cut of the profits those attorneys are going to get from their judgments against Ron DeSantis in their civil suit. At the end of the day, most immigrants do come to this country as underdogs. I mean, they come here to be scrappy. They want to use their own efforts and talents to rise to the top. But now, if someone show up and say, hey, you're a person of color, you've been exploited. And guess what? You could be entitled to damages, which I get a cut of. Victimhood becomes a currency. Yeah, he's totally right. I think uh, there are, I think especially with the younger culture now uh, in America, it's like we're raising people up to be victims. Like, oh, this is what's wrong with me. Uh, people don't like me because of this or that, and this is why I can't be successful. And if you don't support me, you are victimizing me. And it's like people feel like they can get more popular if there's something wrong with them or if they're being oppressed. And I think that's the wrong direction to go where we're starting to see more and more young people uh, trying to claim oppression. And, about something. Everybody's oppressed. And I think if you focus on your oppression, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, you may get a little attention and you may get a little money, but ultimately you're not going to be successful. You may make somebody else successful. It's trading at a bubble and people are just cashing in, using other people to cash in their chips when it's trading at a high. And that's why how we've gone from being this nation of underdogs to this nation of victims and even polluting people who come to this country as underdogs, turning them into thinking of themselves as victims. I think it's immoral. Hmm. It, <laughs> victimhood has also certainly become a political identity as well. I mean, Donald Trump's entire campaign was about victims and grievance. Whiny and, little bitch. Yeah, the, the, so, <laughs> that's right. He's the biggest it's, whiny little bitch. I would say like, way victimhood is being marketed it's almost like um everything is a phobia you know whether you're fat phobic or you're homophobic or you know you hate women <laughs> everything you're transphobic everything is a phobia when i don't think these are real phobias i mean if i if 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 i have a, a fear of spiders it's it's a truly fear of a fear of heights I'm, I'm, it's a true fear but these phobias that they're throwing around nowadays are just uh, labels to say, hey, I'm a victim and this is the problem. You're the problem. Bitch, ever. I can't say that on my show, but I'm glad you can do that. I, I, I've said it a thousand uh, it's, I'm sorry, finish it. No, but, but that, that is part of it. It, it is. Things are unfair. Things are rigged. Right. Things are stolen. This is this has been the mantra of him and a significant portion of the electorate now for six or seven years. And, and not only the Republicans have, have claimed like rigged elections, but the Democrats have done it too. So let's not be too one-sided on one thing. I mean, both the Democrats and the Republicans have both claimed rigged elections at one point or another. And so everybody, I think when we see it from our leadership and that people can't, can't really accept an outcome without saying, hey, they're cheating. But then if they win, and the other side does the same thing. So, I mean, even in politics, everybody's a victim up there. Um, so, 
Certainly. It's accelerating now and bleeding into every facet of the political domain. Yeah, and look, I, I've been a big critic of, you know, my last book, whatever, Woke Victimhood, Left Wing Victimhood. I had, a, I had a chapter in this book about black victimhood. They said, you can't write that because you're not black. I don't believe in that. If you're going to care about actually addressing problems, it's going to have to be through open debate, no matter the color of your skin. But the chapter right after was about the rise of white victimhood culture in response. And, and as someone who's maybe more right of center, I'm disappointed in the conservative victimhood complexes where we have the victimhood grievance Olympics, where you say, you're a victim, I'm a bigger victim. America loses in the end. There is no gold medalist in the Because I think what happens is people want to claim victimhood about everything. And let's talk about race, you know, even being a black person, black American. Um, if all you can do is say, hey, I am not successful because of white people, then you're, you're creating yourself, you're making yourself a victim and you're trying to blame your failures on someone else when there's nobody like knocking down your door or tying you down saying you can't be successful oh you because of this you have to get out of that and and whatever you embrace whatever mindset you embrace that's who you are so if you say hey i'm a victim then you'll stay a victim you're all you're going to from a spiritual standpoint all you're going to manifest is situations and experiences that co continually create victimhood but if you want to actually be successful you have to take the mindset of a victor a conqueror um one who is successful and you can't do that being a victim no matter what your race gender or sexual orientation is victimhood olympics it's our country that loses and i hope that both parties and and part of the reason i actually took the time to do that in this book is i hope that more people on the left do the same thing to left-wing victimhood as well we don't need to point out the other tribe's problem we need to point out problems with our own tribe to revive the pursuit of excellence that's what, what they say is clean up your own house before you start cleaning up somebody else's and also if if in order for you to be successful if that means taking something from another group of people or, or, or another tribe of people if your success is dependent on removing someone else's success then there's going to be a, a, a cycle going around and it's never going to end because what you're doing you're creating a victim out of somebody else it's kind of like a vampire syndrome or it's almost viral if you can say because victimhood is a virus i would like an emotional virus because in order for you to be successful you have to make a victim out of somebody else Is. Since, since, since. all right so that's the video i'll put a link in it if you want to watch it um be sure to subscribe to my videos on, and let me know what you think of victimhood uh, social victimhood and how to combat it leave me a comment below and remember to make your reality happen because if you don't do it then who will talk to you guys later. peace out